All right, so we got it tore apart, cleaned up in the back. Got the front end pulled out of it, about to put the lift kit up under it. It's kind of a pain in the butt getting it apart. It's been together since 92. But we're going to get this front A-arms on there now. Get it up and see what it looks like. Got it all clean back here. Going to get on the back lift after we finish this front one if the weather holds up. We'll see. All right, so we got the front A-arms almost on. We had to pause yesterday because the storm come in. Just showing you what they look like for right now. And we're going to get the hubs put on them. Or the spindle, excuse me. Right there on that axle. And this thing will be back on its wheels rolling around. Then we're going to get the back knocked out. Alright, so we got the rear part of the lift on. Looking pretty good. Setting up pretty decent. Still got to get a couple parts to finish it. I think it turned out good. Polished it up a little bit, just see what it looked like. It's looking really good, actually. But yeah, um, the lift kit for the back of these, anything earlier than uh, I believe it's a 04, has this weird bracket in the back, right there, for your shock mounts. If you look right here, I built a piece of channel and just welded it up. The lift will work for the leaf springs, but it won't work for the shocks. So we got that taken care of. We got a starter generator ordered because it won't charge. If your system isn't charging, this yellow line right here actually runs up front into this box and it hooks up right here. This is your voltage regulator. You can actually unplug this this is your voltage regulator and this actually goes to the starter. Go ahead and put you a wire in there and hook it to the ground on your battery. It should charge. But if you take the wire from here, which comes from your starter generator and you hook it to the ground on your battery, it should charge. If so, that means your voltage regulator is bad. If it will not charge, then that means your starter generator is bad now it could be a combination of the two but you kind of have to change one to figure out the other as far as i know but i have another one of these here the voltage regulator so i'm going to start with the starter generator and then we'll go up to the voltage regulator if that doesn't fix it we'll go from there other than that everything's looking good as far as i know i ordered some new spindles what I did is I ordered the wrong lift kit when I ordered this. I was in a hurry and I just, I placed the wrong order. Luckily his bearings were bad in his hubs. So I had ordered the 2004 and newer lift kit for DS. Everything's the same on the front with the exception of the spindles are a lot skinnier. The spindles that come off of it are really, really wide. I'm not sure where they're at. Right here. This is a spindle that come from that year. Now just picture the new spindle as being kind of level with the end of these bolts. That's about what you lose off of it. So either way, I had to order new bearings. So I just went ahead and ordered the new spindles for it. Went up there to Tractor Supply and got some nuts to fit the end of the shafts. And that's it. And I'm going to put the tires on it. Probably in a couple days. We'll get this thing looking good once I get that generator on there. Do a walk around video once I get it put back together and this one will be in the bag. Then we're gonna get started on the next one.
All right, so we got all the lift and all the tires done. We got it put back together. Do a quick look at it. I know you've seen the video of the difference in it. I think it turned out pretty good. It's a lot taller than you think. Okay, that's made it look good. A little eight inch, nothing special. Turned out decent. Customer likes it, that's all that matters, I guess. Headlights work, tail lights work. Maybe at some point we'll put some underglows on there for him. But yeah, that's it. Runs, drives. Adjusted the governor a little bit. And got some more top speed out of it. That's going to end this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We got other ones on the way.